In this video, we're going to cover off some of the most commonly asked questions that we hear about Body by Vi. So let's start with the first one. We get a lot of questions about the warning on the back of this label. Now there's a couple of warnings on there, right? The first one is if you're pregnant or nursing. Why is there a warning on there about being pregnant or nursing with the shake? Key issue is we do not want you to try and lose weight while pregnant or nursing. So a shake a day for breakfast is just great, or a shake as a snack is great nutrition for pregnant or nursing moms. But we do not want pregnant or nursing moms to try and lose weight. So that's why on our website and on our label, we recommend that you talk to your doctor if you want to try and lose weight while pregnant or nursing. That's also why we say no Vitrim or Vislim while pregnant or nursing because babies do not need help with metabolism support or hunger control. Now the other warning on here is you're going to see that it says it was manufactured on equipment that had dairy, glu uh, gluten, and also soy. Well that makes sense, right? But the key is our manufacturing plan um, is CGMP. That means it's very strict standards for cleaning, protocols, sanitization, etc. It's also kosher with additional cleaning and sanitizing protocols. So the shake, the risk of cross-contamination is minute, but we have to have those warnings on the label. So for example, our orange health flavor has a tiny little bit of gluten in it. So that's why there's that warning. The shake has got whey in it. Whey is from dairy. So there's that warning, but again, it is lactose-free. And then there, does, there is soy in here, and so that's why the warning is on there as well. But the soy is isoflavone-free. We've processed our soy to remove the isoflavones. So while the risk of cross-contamination is very tiny, that is why we have those warnings on our label. Now another question I hear a lot is about blood thinners. What products can I take or should I not take when I'm on a blood thinner? Now the warning is on the shake because of vitamin K. There's a very tiny amount of vitamin K, actually 24 micrograms, a very small amount. It's less than the amount your gut makes on its own every single day. So people on blood thinners should be able to take the shake, but the Vipac products, right, those have got other herbs and nutrients in there that can thin the blood, and we do not want the blood getting too thin. So if you're on a blood thinner, it's always best to check with your doctor, but don't take the Vipac until you do. Hopefully your doctor will help lower your medication so you can take the Vipac. Now blood pressure. We know a lot of people are on high blood pressure medications. The shake and all of our products are just fine. You're going to remember our shake is lower sodium than many of the competitors, and it's great for you, great for heart health. So if you have blood pressure, don't worry, you can take the shake. Now, we also know a lot of people write in and ask about gas, constipation, and diarrhea. Well, I've told you before, I know a lot about guts and butts, so let's cover those off. It is common to experience gas when you start a new diet, and that's any diet. You go on any diet out there, you're going to get gas. Why? Because you're changing to a new pH, a new way of eating. Now, in our shake, we have a prebiotic. What is that? Well, the prebiotic is a fiber that helps those healthy bacteria in your gut multiply. And those are called probiotics. Those are important for your health. Probiotics protect your immune system, help you digest and absorb the nutrition from your food, and also help with regularity. So that is why we put prebiotics in your shake, is to help those probiotics. If you ever go on an antibiotic and you get constipated, it's because you've killed off the healthy bacteria in your body. So the prebiotics are going to help the probiotics do their work, and you're going to probably get gas. Yay! That's a good thing. It's good, healthy gas. But now, here's the thing. It should only last three or four days, maybe five at the most. If after a week you're still getting gas, it could be that what you're making your shake with has got lactose in it, and you could be struggling with lactose intolerant. So if that happens, if more than six or seven days you have gas, Make sure you use lactose-free milk or lactose-free soy milk. It will say lactose-free on there, and you should feel great. Now, because we have this healthy prebiotic and a full serving of fiber, some people say they get constipated. They shouldn't be getting constipated because they should actually be getting more regular, right? So if you're feeling a little constipation, drink more water, 
Make sure you blend your shake with fruit because that's going to get water from the fruit into your intestinal tract and help ease movement. So stick with it. Make sure you drink plenty of water and get fruit in your diet. And watch the other calcium. Maybe you're getting too much calcium. So maybe shake it up a little bit and use some milk in one shake, a little rice milk in the other. Now diarrhea is not normal. You shouldn't be getting diarrhea. And if you do, really take a look at what you're mixing your shake with. Again, it could be you're lactose intolerant and suffering a little bit. Again, we recommend for a meal, you take your shake, two scoops with nonfat milk or soy milk, right? Blend in some frozen fruit and you should be good to go. Now we get a lot of questions about diabetes and we made all of our products to be diabetic friendly. And we did that because of the growing diabetes epidemic. So these are all great if you're a diabetic because they're low sugar, right? So they're so low sugar that the actual glycemic index on our shake is about a 2.8. That's about less than a third of an apple. So it is diabetic friendly. Um, if you're a diabetic that has to watch your blood sugar, well, talk to your doctor. You may need to have a little juice with it, but really for most people, this is going to be a great product. The other question I get a lot is thyroid, right? Because some people see soy and they worry about their thyroid. Well, again, we've removed the isoflavones from the soy, so you can use the product if you have an underactive, overactive, or even surgically removed thyroid. One of our champions, Tom Hibbert, had his thyroid surgically removed a few years ago, has been on the transformation kit, and has now lost over 130 pounds. So no matter what kind of thyroid challenge you may have, you can use the products. Let's talk then about another question we get, headaches. Well, the shakes and our products should not cause headaches. Some people think that the sweetener sucralose causes headaches, but that's not really true. It's really aspartame. And we don't use aspartame for that and other reasons. So if you have a shake and you're getting a headache, make sure you don't drink it too fast or too cold, right? Because too cold could spike a headache. But here's a little known fact. Too much sugar or chocolate can also spike a headache. So if you're getting headaches, make sure you're not blending it with juice because juice doesn't have enough protein and it's got a lot of sugar. And that sugar could spike a headache. Or if you're using a lot of chocolate or chocolate syrup, if you're not using our chocolate health flavor, it could be the chocolate. So if you get a headache, make sure you cut back on the sugar and you should be just great. Now, we also have other questions um, about uh, the calcium level in our shake. How much calcium am I getting? Well, if you have two shakes a day, you're getting uh, two servings of calcium. And here's the funny thing about calcium. You can only absorb it into your body throughout the day. You can't take it once a day and get it into your body. So you need to spread it out three times a day to get your calcium. So if you have a shake for breakfast, you're getting 300 milligrams of calcium, a full serving. You have a shake for lunch, you're getting another 300 milligrams, and you should easily be able to get the rest from your daily diet. If not, it's easy to supplement. So that's how much calcium you're going to be getting. Now, heart disease, we've already covered off heart disease, but again, if you have severe heart issues, please talk to your doctor. But remember that we have no stimulants in Vislim, none in Vitrim that are going to make your heart race. Neuro is low caffeine. Now, our new Go and Pro are 100 milligrams of caffeine, not enough to really cause your heart to race, but if you're caffeine sensitive, we want to make sure you know that as well. Now, a lot of people write me letters and tell me that they've got beautiful glowing skin on our program, and that's because of all of the benefits that we offer in our shake and in our products. So if you have skin concerns like eczema or psoriasis, again, best to talk to your doctor, but studies do show that good nutrition can help you feel better about your skin, and also the omegas are great for skin health as well. But again, we don't cure or treat diseases, so talk to your doctor. Now, we get a lot of questions about this drug or that drug, and can I take it with the shake? Always, again, best to talk to your pharmacist or your doctor. Now, here are a few things. Again, it's not going to interfere with your blood pressure medication, no problem. Thyroid medication. Some thyroid medications, let's say, do not take with calcium. Drink calcium three to four hours or two to three hours before you take your product because calcium could block some of the effectiveness of your drug. 
If that's true, hey, it's easy, right? Take your thyroid medication before you go to bed at night. I would not bypass the healthy benefits of the shake because your, your supplement or your drug says don't take it with calcium. So just look at your label, talk to your pharmacist, but you can take the shake even if you are on a thyroid uh, uh, medication. Now, we do have disclaimers on diseases, right? We can't cure, treat, or prevent any disease. So if you do have a serious disease, such as cancer, or you are on dialysis, or you have some other kidney issues, please talk to your doctor before using any of our products. Now, for cancer, many product uh, types of chemotherapy can be blocked with antioxidants, so be very careful. Do not take the Vipac. Do not take the health flavors if you're on chemotherapy. The shake, the isoflavones have been removed from the soy, so you should be okay on the shake. But again, you're fighting a serious disease, please talk to your doctor. I get a lot of questions about why on the label can children age four and up have the shake and why children under age four cannot. Well, for, oops, there that one on the floor. Um, for adults, two scoops of shake mix is just great. For ages 4 to 12, only one. And that's because children are still growing and developing and growing their internal ability to process protein. Under age 4, their kidneys and their livers aren't really capable of processing that amount of protein. So a sip or two for mom's shake, not a problem. But don't, please, be giving children under the age of 4 a full serving of shake. The other question we get a lot is some people write in and go, well, I'm not losing weight. How come? And here's the deal. If you follow our program, you should be able to lose weight. If you have two shakes a day blended with fruit and milk, you're getting around 225 calories per shake. That's 450 calories, right? Then you have a Nutri cookie or a nice healthy snack, and you're beginning adding 100 to 150 calories. You're up around 500, 550 calories. For women, you should target 1,200 calories a day. So if you have a healthy meal, you're going to be right where you need to be. Now, men should be 1,500 to 1,800 calories. If you follow our program, you're going to be right where you need to be to lose weight. Men can have two snacks, women one. So two shakes for men and women, one snack for women, two snacks for men, and a healthy meal, and you're going to lose weight. And that healthy meal is four to six ounces of protein for women, six to eight ounces of protein for men, plenty of fruits and vegetables, and go watch that video we have on healthy eating, and you should be able to lose weight. Now, if you're still struggling, make sure you get enough water, right? Stay hydrated because not being hydrated enough is going to slow your metabolism, and watch the beige foods. You've all heard me say beige foods like pasta or bread turns to sugar in your body and can turn to fat. So if you're struggling with weight loss, keep a food diary for two or three days. Watch those videos on healthy eating and you should lose weight without too much effort. Now athletes, we also get a lot of people writing in go, can athletes use our shakes? Well, Yes, you can use all of our products. We formulated our products to have no banned substances. They're all formulated to be safe for athletes and more importantly, healthy for athletes. Now, a lot of athletes think they need more protein, more, more, more. I'm not sure where all of that myth started from, but this is a high quality protein, so actually less is more. If you look at competitor shakes, you're going to see some of them spike them with gelatin, some of them with just other fillers to make the grams of protein look higher. Well, we have our Trizor protein blend, plus added in those digestive enzymes, plus use the highest quality, so it absorbs into your lean muscle more. So really push back on that and show them our magazine and all of the athletes, including professionals that we have on our program, and you're going to see that this is a great program for the athlete and you. And now with Go and Pro, we're going to help you do even better in your performance. You're going to work out longer, work out stronger with less effort. So we're perfect for athletes. And last but not least, I'm going to close on the quality of our product. I get asked a lot of questions about, is everything in the label that's in the product? And the answer is yes. We are required by law to have every single ingredient listed on that label, even if it's in a trace amount just to prevent the tablet from sticking to the machine, it's on the label. Second of all, all of our ingredients are FDA approved. 
So we're using products that have gone through clinical studies. We've got ingredients that are well known and well studied. But more importantly, it is again our CGMP facility. So what is CGMP? Certified Good Manufacturing Process. Um, what that means is when the ingredients come into the lab, we check them for potency and purity to our standards. Then we store them in a facility that's specially set up to store them so that there's no cross-contamination. We test during manufacturing to make sure there's consistency from pouch to pouch and tablet to tablet. We test at the end of manufacturing to make sure that what we say is on the label is in there and nothing else. Then we send our products to outside independent testing labs to verify all of the above and also test for heavy metals and foreign objects. So there's a lot of testing that goes on. And then when you see that OU symbol, that means we are kosher approved, which is on many of our products. That means we meet very strict requirements from the Orthodox Union. The Orthodox Union looks at every single ingredient and says that's an ingredient that you can use. And we like that supplier of that ingredient. They come and witness how the ingredients are stored. They come and witness how the product is made. They come and witness it being put into the packaging. They have to approve the packaging. So there are some days I feel like all I do is answer questions about our quality, but we have amazing quality and we put a lot more effort into our shakes and our products than many people know. So I hope that answered some of the most typical questions we get written in about the Body by Vi Challenge, and we look forward to helping you succeed with your goals.